G'day, I'm Paul. Have you ever wondered how fast an EV can go in reverse? Okay, even if you've answered no, I'm gonna show you today. We're gonna to test it out. So let's get stuck into it. Now, this is the Kia EV6. It is an EV. My theory is that EVs only have one gear. So in theory, it should go as fast forwards as it does in reverse. So let's give this a shot and see what happens. Okay, so um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna put it in reverse and just mash the throttle. Uh, that is the Speedo, it's in kilometers an hour. We'll see what happens. So it beeps when it's in reverse. Let's give this a shot. Gee, it's pretty quick in reverse. <laughs> oh, there you go, so 42 kilometers an hour in reverse. I come to a stop. It actually took off really quickly, so everything happened suddenly and then it really started tapering off and when it got to that 40k an hour mark, it hit like a soft limiter. So um, let's try that again. This time I'll switch the stability control off entirely and we'll see if that avoids the soft limiter we're getting there in reverse. Okay, so I'm gonna put that into reverse. We'll turn stability control off. Uh, long hold of that button. There it is just there. Okay, we'll give this another shot. I'm just gonna mash the throttle. Oh, it's so weird reversing that quickly. <laughs> right, there we go, 42 kilometers an hour again. No matter how hard, like I'm literally flat to the board there. It doesn't go any higher than 42. All right, uh, one last thing we're gonna try. We've got one other EV here at the moment. It's a Polestar 2. So let's jump into that and see if that goes in reverse any faster than the Kia EV6. Now, we're inside the Polestar 2. This is the long range uh, single motor version. The EV6 is the uh, rear wheel drive version. So uh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna put this into reverse and we'll just mash the throttle again. So <laughs> here we go. So yeah, uh, Speedo is just there and uh, let's give this a shot. Oh, this takes off even quicker than the EV6. Oh, there you go. We, we've just hit 30 Ks an hour. So 31 is the maximum. No matter how hard I push the throttle, it's not going any faster than that. Um, let's also try switching this one into ESC Sport and we'll see if that makes any difference. As far as I can tell, you can't switch the stability control off on this, but ESC Sport is like a sportier version of the standard mode. So let's give this a shot. <laughs> there we go, 32. We got up to 32 then. But how hard I hit this throttle, it's not going any faster. So, okay, that's disappointing. There goes my theory uh, of how quick you can go in reverse in an EV. Well, there you go. That was short and sweet and kind of fun to test out. Um, my theory of this working as fast forwards as it does in reverse uh, kind of went out the window when the Kia hit 40 k's an hour. Um, it's obviously a soft limiter, but yeah, in theory, the electric motor is a single speed and it revs up to like 14,000 RPM. So it should, in theory, go as fast forwards as it does in reverse, but they've obviously put a software limiter in. So if anyone knows how to hack one of these things, let me know and we can give this another shot. Now, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit subscribe because because we're going to shoot more of these fun random things and if there is anything else fun and random you want us to test in a car let me know in the comments section below and i will try my hardest to do it without damaging or breaking any of these things if you did enjoy this video please make sure you like it and share it with your mates but until next time take it easy